call options have the potential for extremely high gains, but if you don't close the trades at exactly the right time, it's easy for those very gains to slip away. What if there was a way to literally pull all of the risk out of a call options trade while still allowing for substantial further gains to take place if things go right? I'm Seth Freuberg, the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk here in Manhattan, and the traders on our desk are faced with this issue all the time. In today's video, we're going to teach you a technique for doing just that, pulling all of the risk out of a call options position at a certain point in the trade so that once implemented, there's literally no risk in the trade, but the potential for big time additional gains exists. So if that sounds like something you'd like to learn more about, then stick around because I think you're going to find this pretty interesting. Hi, I'm Seth Freuberg and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. Now I'd like to suggest that you click on our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos that we produce for traders and investors all over the world. They're really very valuable. Okay, so today we're going to go over a trading strategy based on a real trade made by one of the guys on our desk who made a really clever decision in the middle of a Tesla trade to take a step where he literally ended all of the risk on the trade while allowing for a ton of extra room for extra profits if things went his way. So let's get started by looking at a price chart of Tesla towards the end of last year. And we'll hone in on the days right after Tesla released its third quarter through 2021 earnings report, which beat analysts' estimates pretty handily and resulted in a rally, which pushed the stock up over 1,000 for the first time ever on a split-adjusted basis. And so traders at our firm saw this as a buying opportunity as they expected the stock to follow through on this rally. And so, as they often do, they turned to call options, especially on high-priced stocks like Tesla, to express their bullish conviction on a stock. Okay, so before we get into exactly how traders can put themselves into positions where they can own essentially risk-free call options on Tesla stock, I wanted to let you know that if you want to learn three more option strategies that our pro traders use, including the unique options trick that allows you to make money while you wait to buy stocks or ETFs at the price you want, and the options income strategy that allows you to make consistent money whether the market goes up, down, or sideways, and how to make money on a stock or index trade, even if you're outright wrong on direction, then click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free workshop registration page in a new window, so don't worry, you won't lose this video. Or you can register directly for free at optionsclass.com. Believe me, you don't want to miss this, so pause the video, sign up now, and then resume watching. Before we jump into this Tesla trade, just to make sure everyone can understand how it works, we're going to do a really quick review of how call options on stock work for those of you who may not be familiar with them. And this will be really quick for those of you who do, so just hang in there. What's known as a call option on a stock entitles the buyer of that option to purchase 100 shares of that stock at a certain price called the strike price of that option, regardless of what price the stock is trading at. The buyer of a call option pays what's called a premium to the seller of the option because the seller of the option is taking the risk that the stock will go way above the strike price of his call, in which case the buyer can exercise his option and the seller could lose money on the transaction because he'll have to sell the shares to you for far less than the value they're showing in his account. So naturally, all other things being equal, when a stock goes up, the right to buy that stock at that fixed strike price also goes up. But it's important to realize that if the stock on the expiration day of the call option is not above the strike price of the call option, then the seller of that call just pockets the premium that he was given by the buyer. He walks away completely free of any obligations because no one would obviously exercise the right to buy a stock at a price higher than it's trading in the open market. And so that's how call options work in a nutshell. We're going to get back to trading Tesla using call options right after their earnings release last October. 
So let's see what would have happened in the morning that day if this trader were to have bought 10 of the Tesla 1150 strike price calls expiring on November 5th, 10 days later. Well, since those are priced at 1551, and since each options contract represents 100 shares of stock and the trader buys 10 of them, as you can see from the calculation, the initial cost of the trade would be $15,510, which is a relatively small trade for a prop trader, incidentally. And so he's betting that at this point, Tesla, which is currently trading at 1068, is likely to push over 1100 over the next 10 days, which of course was a possibility. And so let's now move to November 1st, just a few days later. And as you can see, Tesla turned super bullish and the stock pushed up over 1200 for the first time that day. So at the end of the day, let's say that the trader this time goes ahead and sells 10 of the 1275 calls, which were going for 1839 at the time, which I want you to take a note of is a higher price than the $1510 price that he paid for those 1150 calls originally. Now you might ask why those 1275 calls are so expensive. And the answer is primarily based on the fact that the market now is wondering whether Tesla buying has just turned into a flat out frenzy and who knows where the stock's price is going. And so call sellers have to protect themselves. And so even though 1275 is 67 points above the 1208 closing price of Tesla that day, the market is going to price up those options, even though they're now expiring in just four days. Because who knows what can happen with the stock in four days based on the way that the last four days have gone, which is an example of what options traders refer to as an increase in the options implied volatility. And so let's now take a look at a crucial perspective here, and that is the cash flow situation of this trade at this juncture. And starting with the cash we just brought in from selling those 10 calls, which as you can see from the calculation comes to $18,390, and subtracting out the 15,510 original cost of the 1150 calls, the trade has now turned positive cash flow, meaning we brought in more cash from selling the 1275s than we spent on the 1150 calls originally. Now, why is this such a big deal? Well, think about it. Let's say that on the day that these options expire, Tesla falls below an 1150. Well, in that case, then both the 1150 and the 1275 options expire worthless. And while that would not be the optimal outcome by selling the 1275 calls at the right time, even if Tesla drops back below 1150, the trader still keeps the cash flow of 2880. You get to keep that positive cash flow no matter what the options are valued when they settle. And this is always going to be true as long as the options that were sold were sold for a price greater than the options you initially bought and the call options you sold were at a strike price higher than the options you bought. And both of those things were true in this case. Okay, so let's move now to the day that these options expire. And as you can see, Tesla remained above 1200 into the close on November 5th. And so what most options traders do is that instead of allowing the options to expire and then physically take possession of the shares, if they own any call options with strike prices below where the stock is trading, instead, they simply go ahead and close the options position itself, selling off the calls they own and buying back the calls they sold. So let's see what that would look like on this day at about 3.30 in the afternoon, the day that these options are gonna stop trading. And as you can see, the 1275 calls we sold for all that money, well, those are practically worthless, trading for four cents, because the chances of Tesla rallying to 1275 in the next 30 minutes is obviously pretty small. So those can be bought back for a price of four cents. Whereas the 1150 calls we bought when the trade started are now selling for $70.92, which is almost exactly the difference between the stock's current price of 122090 and the option strike price of 1150. And that's no accident because in 30 minutes, whoever we sold that option to will have the right to buy Tesla at 1150 when it's trading around 1220. And so that right is very valuable and people will pay us that difference to own those calls. So we can sell them for just about that difference at 7092. 
And so let's take a look now at the final value of this trade. And as you can see, if we start with the cash flow we've received from selling the 1275 originally and subtract out that original cost of the 1150s and the, 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 the $40 it cost us to close out those 1275 calls for next to nothing 30 minutes before expiration. And if we then add back in the cash we collected from selling the 1150 calls, which have appreciated up to over $70,000 in value because they're so deep in the money, the final profit on the trade comes out to $73,000, a return of 475%. So what I'd like you to take away from today's video is once you get up money on long options trades, such as flat out buying calls on Tesla like the trader did here, if you sell those calls and close your trade when they get up some money because the stocks rallied as you wanted to do, then you end your ability to make any more on the trade if the stock keeps running as it did in this case. Whereas if you sell calls well above where the stock's trading, but for a price greater than what you paid for the original calls, then you've ended the risk on the trade. You can't lose at that point. Why? Well, think about it. The trade we just demonstrated, if the stock closes at or below 1150 on expiration day, you keep the cash flow of the 2880 as we mentioned before. If the stock closed between the long and short call, somewhere between 1150 and 1275, then you take 10 times the difference because we've got 10 calls between the closing stock price and the strike price of 1150 calls and multiply that by the 100 shares that each call contract represents and you add the initial cash flow, which is what happened in the example we just showed you, where the 1150s had that huge value while the 1275s had basically no value. But if the Tesla price had run up past 1275, then the 1275 would have, 1275s would have started to have value, which is bad for us because we're short those. However, the value of those would have been offset point for point by the value of the 1150s as they got more and more valuable also. And so once Tesla were to get to 1275, the trade can't appreciate any more than that because of our short position at 1275, which is now offsetting any gains in our long position. But I mean, that's not exactly an unhappy position to be in. After all, that would be a gain in excess of $127,000 if that were to happen. Professional traders who understand how options work have the savvy to lock in profits as early as they can on an options trade through this technique, at which point you're playing with the house's money. Just to remind you, if you're serious about your trading, you need to check out the free intensive options class that we're currently running, where you'll learn three real world option strategies that our professional options traders use all the time. Just click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen, or you can just head on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free workshop directly. It really is a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now before you miss it. And please don't forget to hit our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free training videos to help you to up your game as an options trader.